Well, here we are. Another Trash Does on Webtoon video. Let's start. Number 1. Cherry. Cherry is a close friend of our main character Eve Mayari. And not a good friend. Cherry asks the protagonist to lend her voice for Cherry's singing videos. Cherry wanted the protagonist to sing the songs while Cherry herself would lip sync to the protagonist singing. Cherry pays the protagonist to do this job, knowing well that the protagonist doesn't have a job and needs money. She exploits the protagonist's talent by using her financial crisis as a good excuse to pressure her into agreeing to this unjust deal. Later on, when Eve gets frustrated with the deal and wants out, Cherry manipulates her into staying by telling her that she is confused. The male lead cleverly conveys to Cherry that he knows about her mind games and isn't falling for her sweet girl facade. He obviously knew that Cherry was using Eve's voice to gain fame. This scares Cherry and she asks Eve to stay away from him so that he doesn't influence her to cancel their deal. Cherry is also very delusional. She thinks that Eve has a crush on her suspicious music teacher. It's unknown if she genuinely believes it or if she is trying to make it happen so that Eve wouldn't walk away from their deal. In conclusion, she is a fake and toxic friend who would use her friends for her own personal gain. She'll exploit and manipulate her friends and be completely ignorant about their feelings. She won't care if her friends are feeling any discomfort while doing something for her. Number 2. Garrett Garrett was the fiancé of the male lead's elder brother, Riken. After Raikon's death, she had her sights set on Hakon. She never truly loved Raikon or Hakon. She just wanted to become queen. She was hungry for power and position. After she sees that Hakan is married to the female lead, Lucina, her plans of becoming the queen get sabotaged and she does everything she can to ruin their marriage. From belittling Lucina to seducing Hakan to performing dark arts. We can see that this power-hungry Trashta would do anything to become queen. She asks her ladies-in-waiting to keep tabs on Hakan and Lucina and report it to her. Number 3. Natasha Now this disgusting woman also had an affair with a married emperor. But unlike Rashta, she doesn't care if the emperor loves her. She doesn't love him either. She just wants to get prego with him so that her heir can get the kingdom and hence she can get the kingdom. She's also been having an affair with another guy behind the emperor's back for who knows how long. She seems like those mentally unstable and manipulative psychopaths. She's just like the emperor. She would go to the extent of framing someone for murder to get power and position. Number 4. Jin. Jin appeared in a few episodes in the beginning of the story. She mocked the protagonist, Gangui, for not being feminine enough. Gangui was a wild rebel in high school who beated male classmates in fights and is now a detective. She wasn't a typical girly girl. She still isn't. Jin gave her the feeling that men don't like women like her. Jin mentions that she is engaged to Hajun, the male lead. She resents the protagonist and accuses that all the guys she ever liked were interested in Gangui. When in reality, no one was officially Jayan's man. Jayan liked them, but they didn't like her back. The male lead reveals to Jayan that he proposed to Gangui. Jayan doesn't take this news well and begs Gangui to leave him, using Gangui's previous crush, Yujin, as an excuse to manipulate her, saying that she still needs to heal and to get over him. Her true intentions were to keep Gangui away from the male lead, Hajun. Jayan gets on her knees in front of their friends and begs Gangui to leave Hajun, showing how desperate she is and that she has no self respect and dignity. Personally, I feel like we'll be seeing more of her in the future episodes. Something tells me we're not done with her yet. Just my opinion. These were more trash tos that I knew about. What other trash tos do you know about? Comment below.